with you. Yeah, I wanna know what you want. My niggas gon' blow at you. Yeah, my niggas gon' blow at you down. As many of you know, I did a video breaking down Adam 22's appearance on the Joe Budden podcast. In that video, I went over what I felt had happened in general, and then I broke down some of the compelling arguments that both sides were trying to push out. If you want to see that video, I'll try to link it somewhere on this page. Try looking in the description if anything. But now looking back at that last video I did on this topic, I think I may have been too light on my criticism of Adam 22. And I just want to make it clear, just because I didn't go into depth on how he was specifically wrong that situation that doesn't mean that he's entirely of no fault personally i think as hip-hop fans and consumers we kind of have to think and really understand what roles it is that media outlets and media companies actually play in the grand scheme of things because this entertainment industry is extremely exploitative from all angles like everybody wants to talk about the music and everybody wants to talk about the record labels but they don't realize that every aspect of the game is somewhat exploitative and sometimes things are exploitative in the artist's favor and at the detriment of the fans or the consumers so i think there's always some sort of power dynamic going on in the entertainment industry and in music in general although misguided I think that this is kind of the central theme that the Joe Budden guys are trying to hammer down uh, this entire time. You know, with Adam being the owner of his own media company, you know, he's ultimately the one who decides what, where, and when gets posted. Which is why when Adam falls back on such responses like, I'm just doing what the fans want, it's kind of disingenuous. Because when we talk about what fans want, you're kind of just feeding into the narrative. The way I kind of like to conceptualize it is like, if we were back in the 1800s or some shit, you know what I'm saying, real caveman vibes, Adam 22 is the guy that carries around a soapbox just in case anyone wants to stand on it. And honestly, I think that's a very important role to have in any society to be the platform that people need when they wanna have their voices heard. But I think we have to take into account the motives of the people that are running the show, you know, who are controlling these platforms and who are they choosing to give a platform to. These people are human too at the end of the day they have their biases they have what they think will sound good look good it's different and i think low-key where you have a system where it's kind of unchecked and who gets through and who is able to capitalize off these systems that's when you get people like adam 22. i think in that first video i was more trying to point out the duality between adam and joe joe and his co-hosts are trying to call out adam for his behavior but at the end of the day they're more similar than they are different you know joe is having adam on his podcast they're both going to benefit off of each other they're both exercising a power dynamic on each other that's why when ice and ish brought up the fact that they have certain artists on and they don't ask about certain topics it's like cool bro but you can't point fingers and act like adam's style of content is the problem when it's just a symptom of the larger issue the joe budden guys are still supporting the same behavior that adam asks his guests about but they just found a way to do it without sensationalizing it essentially what this podcast ended up being at the end of the day is two parties trying to argue to find out who was the less worse of the two of them i think the youtuber sean c really provided some good insight on his video about this topic like like bro was really spitting bro the video that i'm seeing of the two going back and forth it's almost as if it's an argument to rid themselves of the guilt associated with covering violence in hip-hop or covering hip-hop in general where i think this debate between joe budden and adam 22 goes wrong is it feels like Joe Button and his crew are under the impression that if Adam 22 stopped posting about the things that he posts about, that the issue would resolve itself. When in reality, you'd just be talking to someone other than Adam 22 who'd be doing the same thing. You know, recently I'd watched a video by the YouTuber Channel 5, and he had this interview with DJ Academics where he asked him if he thinks he's caused any death due to his coverage on his the Warren Chirac YouTube series. Now I'm sure he's gotten this accusation before. Like people have definitely pressed him about this shit before. People have asked him about it. And personally, I think the human thing to do here is try to absolve yourself and shield yourself from accountability and get really defensive. But surprisingly, Academics does at least own up to his role as the media company and possibly instigating issues in the Warren Chirac. Now I don't think this absolves him of his responsibility, but this shows that Academics is at least able to take his portion of the blame and i think that's a step in the right direction and he's able to think about his role as a media outlet that commands the attention of the people if my videos because they were popular instigated any two parties i'll take blame for that but motherfucker, if you picked up the gun i'm not taking blame for what you did right negative for society right do you just, just the romanticization of violence in general do you think you help make it look cool mm, i don't know 
The fact that Adam's trying to like downplay his possible involvement and in like instigating beefs maybe is proof that he maybe doesn't think about his role as a media company so we have to kind of like question it you know what i'm saying or what i think is the more likely of the two he was trying to play dumb to avoid criticism and honestly there's no way you can get to the top of the entertainment industry without being smart enough to consider all the external factors now obviously what adam is doing isn't the most morally correct thing but i think the obvious question is why are people so attracted to the train wreck that is adam's style of content and i'm not trying to like point fingers here or whatever since the days of gladiators humans have been intrinsically tied to this idea of bloodlust and desire for conflict all adam 22 did and other people was find a certain way to monetize off of that human desire so it's kind of hard to fault them in a way when all they did was capitalize off of something that was always there but honestly i do think it takes a certain type of sick individual to actually have what it takes to make a living doing this style of content and i kind of want to believe that adam has good intentions at heart but like I, how charitable can we be for this guy when did you actually become a five five crib and okay guys i know i've rambled a lot this episode but i like generating and circulating these ideas so maybe i'm initiating some sort of positive change in conclusion though all right in, in conclusion Part of me admires Adam's business acumen and like how much time and effort he must have put in building his brand, of course. In terms of like a capitalist society, like Adam did his thing, you feel me? He did the right thing. But a part of me is kind of giving him the side eye because what he chooses to promote on his platform. At the end of the day, he is responsible for all of the messaging that goes up on that platform. And I think that should be scrutinized at the end of the day. Now, let me know what you guys think. I do think this is a very interesting topic. I'm going to try to link some of those interesting videos down below. And your boy is out of here. Fight. <laughs>